All right. This is the final night at the bar, I'm assuming. It was a rough nightmare, for sure. You all look like you're in really bad shape. Nothing's wrong with you? That's true, he wasn't there. Nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. If you keep smiling like that, I'm gonna deck you. Huh. You can tell I'm happy. To be honest, me and Erica are... Uh, anyway, let's let's have a drink. He and Erica are what? Are they going out? It's really hitting me today. Huh. So what you gonna do with the girl you're cheating with? She doesn't know you're sleeping around with her, right? I'm a terrible person, aren't I? This is my fault. I'm not gonna run from it. You go, Vincent. I'm gonna break up with her tomorrow. Once I'm clear, I'm gonna propose to. Her. I'm sure it'll all work out. Huh. Yeah. Thanks. What was that nightmare about? Sheepy. Sheepy sheepy. Congratulations! You reached age six. Check the high scores for that game? Why are you boasting? What? What did you beat I everyone? I got the high score right now. Not really? Oh, well, uh, I'll beat you soon. You guys are really into that game, huh? Yeah. Erica, she's an angel. <laughs> More like a demon. Let's hope she's that too. <laughs> Alrighty then. A text from Captain. Vincent, have you gotten involved in something bad? If that's the case, tell me. Tell me the truth. Your problems are my problems now. Fuck off, bitch! You're saying and what's negative and what's positive. It's so dumb. You can't fucking tell. Good evening. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Here we go again with these crazy you bitches. You can't accept the dishonesty of politicians, can you? You can't accept the rising cost of goods, can you? I hate economics. Ha <laughs> makes me super evil. Mr. Justin wouldn't say that. Did you know that Mr. Justin once interviewed a ballerina? Did you know she was Miss Anna's best friend? Oh, Did shit. Yeah, they're talking about Justin now. Who made Miss Anna stop crying. Let's see. Mr. Archie died this morning. Mr. Morgan died this morning. What? It's two days until the time of freedom. What the fuck? So some people died. You got mail. Uh-oh. -huh. I hope you're working hard. I love when you talk about your job. Ooh, it's our first real date tomorrow. I'm so excited. Let's do something else after we go to the movies. There's going to be a date. I, I still haven't decided if I'll go. I told you to stop sending me pictures. See, is it going to be a date? We're not like that. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm so nervous. What does an ulcer feel like? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Our love is over. I guess they're talking about some people who used to come here, but they died. I think it's the cop, right? The cop died? I think the cop's name was Morgan. <sighs> oh shit, and what's his name too? Look, Anna's by herself. This guy died. Hey, do you know where Daniel, Daniel is? died? Whoa. Really? Do you text message and call your girlfriend every day? I forget to when I'm drinking. <laughs> Whoa. Well. Yes, that's how all you men are. You never think about the feelings of the people waiting for you. Uh, he said that he's been seeing nightmares lately. 
He's done for, isn't he? All of the men who talked about nightmares are dead. Yep. He's going to die too. He's wearing food. That's preposterous. Ugh. Uh, he's adopted. He's been working hard all his life to repay the parents who raised him. Huh. He fought his way through and dealt with the pressure all his life. And then for it all to end like this, it's so sad. Oh well. He's gonna be okay. Believe it. I still got to bang you out every night, baby. You got me. Can I trust you? It's Captain again. How can I really believe what you're saying? I hate to have to say that, but you were being weird at lunch. I'm sorry, but I'm not so gullible that I can just believe whatever comes out of your mouth. I need to hear the truth of you. We're going to be sharing our lives together. It's really subtle not trust me. Quit grilling me. I say quit grilling me. <laughs> I feel bad about this too. Even if I tell you, you probably wouldn't understand. Has this been enough good night? I need to take some time to cool off. talking about this. Let's be mean. Let's be real mean. Boosh. Super mean. <clears throat> Pissing that bitch off. The Rapunzel Puzzle. It seems like there's more than one ending to that Rapunzel game you can play at the bar. Even if you think you've beaten it once, it might be worth going through again. Be able to understand the key to understand the truth in its story. Play video games all night long. Why would I play a game within a game? I'm not fucking playing Inception. I'm trying to play this game. Let me play the one fucking game. Jesus. Today. I interviewed another woman today for a different story. She's pregnant, but she's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child. Hmm. And she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. Wow. What? Why? She doesn't actually know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who was the kindest and the dullest. Wow. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't know. Huh. I don't think I agree with that. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. Huh. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. Goodbye. And it's taken off. Marriage is... Two people become... To bear another person's life is very difficult. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. Oh, he's taken off now. We'll continue the story of the mysterious series of deaths. Nicholas Clark, age 29, was the latest victim. A grisly story. Archie Wallace, age 28. There he is! Archie. Oh, my. Archie died. Archie? These deaths are hitting close to home these days. Morgan Cortez, the cop. age 40. Oh, shit! Morgan? Oh, did she just see Morgan Cortez? That's the officer who used to come here. Yep. Kevin Taylor, age 31. That concludes the current known list of victims. If we learn of any new information, Damn, it's fucked up. Are you the type to see nightmares, Mr. Brooks? Yeah. Shit, I can't remember them. Every night I've had them. Women aren't the only ones to get the marriage blues. Hmm. Man asks everything from a woman, but when done so, he feels she is a burden. To pilfer the pawn rings from a certain someone. It doesn't matter anymore. I figured it out. I want Catherine by my side, so I'm just gonna settle things. I hope it leads to a good conclusion. Hmm. But still, Steve's voice. I've heard it so long before. Who? Uh, shoot. Is this time already? When I break up with her, I need to keep my mind clear. Yo. Hey, Vincent. We're leaving now. Doctor taking off. All right. Take care. I got some drinks to pound. Hanging around the bar. This guy again. We can't start this party without you. No. Come. Did, did I just hear something? Good evening. Is Vincent here? Oh shit. What? She's there. Mm -hmm. She 
just went and sat down. I got a drink. I got a fucking drink! Look, Vincent. You're not hiding anything from me. Are you? Looks like I was the only one hiding something. <laughs> Pound it back! I know this is so. Here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. One style of cocktail that requires the most experience and technique to create is the Pousse Café. The Pousse Café? Normally, <laughs> cocktails are stirred thoroughly. The Pussy Café! This is a cocktail you cannot mix. The bartender creates a beautiful rainbow inside the glass ah. by carefully layering differently colored liqueurs according to their densities. Huh. But what's the best way to drink this? Mixing it will ruin the effect. And if you don't mix it, it stays separated. Perhaps the agony of indecision is part of the Pousse Café's appeal. The Pousse Café! That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. And that was the stupid, useless information for tonight. Empty? What would you like now? Let's have a beer. Beer. Coming right up. In heaven there is no beer. That's why we drink it here. Ah, rumors are bullshit. Fuck curses. Ah, that man's voice. I've heard it somewhere before. Who was it? Huh. Steve Jones, goddamn you! I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about beer. Now that you've emptied your mug. Beer is loved all over the world, but where did it come from? The earliest records of beer making are from 5,000 years ago Damn. in ancient Mesopotamia. It said the barley used to make bread fermented naturally, and beer was created by coincidence. Huh. The earliest known alcohol is said to be from 9,000 years ago in China, a mix of rice and fruit alcohols. I guess you could say humanity's had a long time to enjoy their drinks. Hell yeah! Bottoms up to that, buddy! And that was the beer trivia for tonight. Bottoms up! Empty?